So guys, we just left for a 600 kilometer drive to Hungary. Uh, but the first stop will be to find some sort of vignette or vignena for uh, driving through, uh, uh, I think it's Austria. They have a uh, quite hefty fine system if you don't. So it's better to buy it before and uh, that's what we will be looking for. Uh, yesterday's milling went mm, not uh, not quite the best uh, runs I had. Uh, one uh, big stone after the, like in the third cut destroyed the chain, and then we hit some nails, maybe one or two, but those were never the problem. Uh, the problem was the me milling so far into the stones they got super blunt uh, and uh, we had to take out the grinder and re-grind the entire tooth uh, down to uh, the yeah down to 50% of the entire uh, length of the tooth uh, which took some time also adjust the rakers but as I said we're on to uh, the road now and uh, yeah I'll uh, update you as soon as I do something exciting again So guys, I uh, got the idea on like an open stretch to like speed uh, from the gang and uh, send up the drone to get a cool footage of the team passing under. Uh, I, they just arrived as soon as I got it up in the air, so this is the footage. And uh, as you can see, it uh, wasn't the best. Anyways, I'm two minutes away from the touchdown in Hun Hungary, uh, and I'm about to meet Adam from Wood Electric. Uh, so that's where we are to today, to now, right now. Brother, uh, you, but what's that, brother? What's that, brother? <laughs>
Shut up, boy. So we are basically packed up. Uh, car is jammed. I feel like a proper bag lady. Joe said I look like one as well. Uh, and now we are gonna drive off on a... I really don't know the, the length of this trip, but it says around five and a half hour. My experience tells me it's probably gonna be longer, so around... Um, Six seven wouldn't surprise me. Since, since Joe is driving like a old lady. Oh, you here? Uh, yeah. We're just gonna pack the last stuff and uh, get on the road then. Guys, story time. We went down to the core of Budapest and uh, the intention were to uh, sit down and uh, have a few beers and eat some food. Uh, unlucky for me, who have a pickup truck with five seats, uh, I got to be a driver, so no beer for me. Also, uh, Volkswagen is a pretty reliable car unless when it comes to down to the particular filter. I have some trouble with that right now. Uh, it started off just, I don't know, uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, and uh, when we came down to Budapest, uh, immediately when we came down to the core of Budapest, the regenerating, I don't know if that's the correct term. It's actually the car burning out the particular filter by itself. That lamp just started lighting in the dashboard and I got quite frustrated immediately because I knew that then that I needed to be driving at least for 15 minutes or something to burn that out before I could shut the car off. But the Englishman uh, Sorry, Thomas, you count as one. They were like super on me, like, hey, yeah, shut the car off, shut it off. I do that every time. Uh, you could just regenerate the car later. And I, deep down in my gut, knew that that's not what you're supposed to do. So, uh, yeah, since I'm a man, young male in my, not even middle age yet, uh, I fell for the group pressure and uh, the boys yeah they made me shut the car off uh, we went to the town had a good time uh, had some food uh, anyways now it's time to drive to uh, serbia and with me i have adam from uh, lectic the thing is that what happened yeah the car of course right after the pub the, the the light came on and we had to regenerate regenerate the car so we had to burn out the filter i did that it took like 20 minutes this time afterwards we came home to adam had a good night's sleep the morning after we took off to serbia we came to the border and uh, we met this asshole of a tool inspector yeah he was really an asshole uh, Hungarian asshole, so he was a hungry asshole. Uh, he were I I knew I knew and I do, do in fact uh, like admit that I had wrong. I didn't bring the papers for the car. 
uh, didn't knew you would have uh, need to have them uh, because in Sweden you basically don't drive around with your uh, papers in your car uh, you can have them at home the cops can find out anything they need by just scanning your license plate uh, the only thing you need to like validate that is your driver's license but anyhow uh, I didn't have the papers with me and he came to me took our passports and then he were like oh driver's license well I uh, no the papers give me the papers to the car uh, the papers I said yeah you need to have papers for your car uh, well I didn't bring any papers I can show you on the computer or in my phone no you can show me a picture of a pig something like that uh, his English were very limited uh, my friend try, tried to talk to him he were like super stubborn no way you're getting out of here I don't even know if the car is stolen uh, what you gonna do in Serbia blah 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 uh, so he were like yeah you could walk into Serbia but the car ain't coming into Serbia uh, you and your friend could walk in or you could leave the car or buy another car or whatever but this car ain't coming into Serbia and there I was stuck uh, all my gear was in Joe's car and he was in front of me uh, my two panther rigs the bars I, of course I was devastated I mean all this way to get uh, a no at the border uh, for a stupid paper uh, and yeah we tried everything we uh, except bribing because uh, what you should not do in Hungary is bribe the toll uh, guess you will get in even more shit then uh, so we ended up uh, calling around Joe came out I took the rig strapped to my car they took Adam in their car uh, but before they took Adam I called the Swedish uh, what do you call it uh, transport administrations uh, and they uh, I got to talk with a really nice guy uh, Mikkel and he were like I can't give you the original paper of course but what I can do is try to give give you something that looks like an official document which basically is just the, all the numbers on your car with our stamps on it and I said yeah I'll try whatever so he just sent that to me and we got uh, to a I think it was a cigarette store or, or something uh, just before the border and we bought no we, we didn't buy anything we met this lovely lady there uh, who was very spirit spiritual so she didn't let me pay anything for printing out the papers at her and then uh, we Adam took off in Joe's car and I was left in Hungary and when you talk to uh, Hungarian people that's the worst thing you can do be left in Hungary because you will get robbed so that was a fucking miss oh Anyways, I've uh, printed out the documents that I missed bringing and they look like shit, but I'm gonna try to travel a good 50 minutes to the side of the border and trying to get in there. Uh, it's no guarantee, but no one knows how it's gonna end so let's go so I'm uh, at the second uh, the Rusk Rus Rus border gonna try here I still have like 10-15 minutes left been standing here for at least half an hour trying to avoid the window cleaning guy who's running behind me Thank 
actually worked. Thank you.